Okay, so I found the Wargrave. H. Chetlings, leading seaman, Royal Navy. H. Ross Vimy. Morning, after evening, people. So we're on a dog walk. Um, a place called Dorrington Church. Um, the church is over there. Let's just ask him what that is. A water tower of some kind. Okay, St Edward's Church, Dorrington. Built in the early English style by the Hope Edwards family of Netley Hall uh, in the mid-Victorian age, uh, 1845. Seats approximately 200 people. And we're going to have a quick look around, get the drone up and try and fly a drone around the tower. Uh, allegedly, the website says it's open during the daytime, so we're going to see if we can get inside as well and have a little look. Okay, so the website said the church was built in 1885, however, there's a grave there from 1798, so I'm assuming there was a church here prior to that this church being built. Okay, so I found the war grave. H. Chetlings, leading seaman, Royal Navy. H. Vimy. 22 November 1941, age 45. I will go on the Commonwealth War Graves Commission and I'll pull up that sailor's details, put them up on the screen for you. Okay, so leading seaman Herbert Sheffings, a service number Papa slash Juliet 20402. Remember that service number, we'll come back to that in a minute, because I found some uh, information out about this, this sailor. Uh, it doesn't say how he died, he's obviously a local lad, as you can see there, of Dorrington. But it doesn't say how he died. Sometimes, in the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, it will say KIA killed in action, DOW died of wounds, they died of sickness. In this case, it doesn't tell us how he died, unfortunately. So I did a bit of digging and I found him on the crew list of HMS Monarch during World War One. So this guy has joined the Navy again when World War Two kicked off. Hence why he's now got a Papa in front of his service number, Papa Juliet 20402, instead of just Juliet 20402. So we found him there. Um, he served 1915 to 1918 on that ship, so from the age of 19 to the age of 22. It's not open. However, the website says it's open during the daytime, so it blatantly isn't. Walk around the outside. See if there's any interesting gravestones. because I know a few of my viewers have said they like these kind of videos for explore places so we thought we'd do one
these gravestones looking rather old as well. That stands on the grave. See if I can get. No, it's unreadable. Can't get a date off that. Eighteen nineteen. Again, a lot of these graves are older than allegedly this church is. So there's definitely another church on this site. This obviously hasn't been getting maintained because there are trees, saplings growing in front of these stones. 1903, 1877. A small bridge here. Out to fields. Okay, I found another uh, military grave, Fijian Royal Artillery. However, it's not a war grave, so um, we're probably unlikely to find details of that soldier. There's also this pillar. Yeah. Erected in the memory of the Pickleworth family in England by John Pickleworth, born December 20th, 1829 in England. Died December 22nd, 1904 at Decorah, Iowa, America. So if you're in the USA, you know where that place is. Let us know in the comments. That's a strange one. It does make me feel a bit sad when I see stuff like that. Because uh, the family obviously couldn't afford a headstone, I'd assume. So I never know who that is. There's a few more. So I'm thinking perhaps, and these look well maintained, flowers there. Maybe it's just a thing. Rather than a headstone, I don't know. Right, let's get Henry up. Okay, so we've got Henry in the air. So the reason with some churches that the graves predate the church is a lot of time you'll find there's been a grey, uh, there's been a, a church there for hundreds of years. What they've done is they've either extended the existing church or built a new one on the foundations of the old church. And the reason they used to do that is uh, they usually only get funded by local businessmen lords, rich families, rich landowners because they pretty much thought that if they paid for a new church to be built that uh, God would smile on them and they were pretty much, for all intents purposes, buying themselves a ticket to heaven. I'm just going to dry up now. I'm going to circle the tower. Try and get some good footage all around. It's around to the back of the church now. Got a nice view of the graveyard there. And then we're going to fly straight over the top of it. We look down, check the roof out. That roof looks okay, doesn't it? Now I'm going to fly the drone straight across the graveyard. Back to where we took off from. Above the treetops. And there's myself, my wife and Teddy. Coming into land. It's 
little teddy looking up at the drone. He's itching to come and bark at it. There we go. A little bark. Come in there. A little bit of a wave. If you enjoyed that video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.